Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It is time for a brand new story in Doctor Who. I'm excited. We had the Brigadier, we've had Bessie, I've got high expectations. Um, I'm just excited to see where we go. I feel like we're kind of building up to something big. Don't ask me to explain because I don't know exactly what I mean. It's just my gut feeling that there's maybe like going to be a big something happen at the end. Yes. What do I think we're going to get? What's my feeling, guys? My modern, slick, spaceship, white walled set. That's what I'm thinking. I don't think we, I don't, I can't imagine we'd have a historical now. Um, I want something quite like futuristic, you know, that's what I would like. We've also been on Earth, so I don't, we've had a lot of Earth stories, whether that's in the modern, you know, current times or before, but we have had a lot of Earth stories. So that's, I don't know. I just feel like we need like we need a you know to be out in space on a, on a ship that's what I feel like we've we've not had a lot of excuse me but the window is open so if you can hear noise I'm sorry if you're new here my name is Mary Claire thank you for joining me I really appreciate it um and let's let's tally ho tally ho doesn't that mean goodbye no idea let's let, let's just go. Very pretty. Society can be ruinous. Poor silent. Not silent. Now. Retro 
Rogers had some stories. The pygmies from the Alutli forest left him blindfold for three whole days through uncharted jungle. They took him to a swamp full of giant lizards like giant dinosaurs. It burned through my eyes into my mind. It had blazing, radiant wings. <laughs> Reckless was in the Congo. He faced a herd of stampeding buffalo head on. He raised his gun and with one single bullet. He's the pattern. Ah. There you are, old chap. Redfuss, I found you. I trust you and the young lady are not hurt. The gentleman has fits of distracted behaviour and must what? for his own safety be confined. She didn't have to hurt him. Yeah, my friend is and I. My was master, Mr. Her. Smith, asks if you will join our other guest in the drawing room. It's an asylum for the patients in charge. Given a chance, it could be bedlam. I was going to say, there's just loads of people uh, just here. Nimrod, thank you, Nimrod. Nimrod. It would be, uh, like... I see that all the stories about you are true. You have no shred of decency, even parading your shameless wantons in front of your guests. Does he mean me? I have it. This is some experiment related to your mumbo-jumbo theories. Perhaps you'll evolve into a young lady. Who are you calling young lady, Bob Brain? No such luck. Quiet, Eliza. Be a good girl. I'm making some small talk. Okay, so we're in a oh, big, sir. gothic, yes, creepy yes. house. My theories appall you, my heresies outrage you, I never answer letters and you don't like my tie. Terms. But don't you want to know what happened here? No! You learned something you didn't recognize when you were 13. Like what? The nature of the horror that you sensed here. 
Okay, so it's called Ghost Light. This is to do with Ace's past because I can't remember what they said it was called. Paravail? Ace went into the abandoned version of this house and saw something. And those creatures at the end, it was like a big fly. I don't know, I didn't really connect with that part. Um, it just felt like we were very much setting up for what's to happen, but I just didn't, I don't know, I just didn't connect all that much. It had creepy vibes, gothic vibes, great. I'm happy with that. But there's just a lot of mystery in that part. So I, it's like, I, I need to watch, the, it's almost like I need to watch the next part now to kind of like, get going with the story there was a lot <clears throat> there was a lot of mystery happening bizarre things happening just felt like there's a lot of people there i really liked that um kind of like the where ace ended up with that you know almost like spaceship set in amongst like a gothic house i love that um like contradiction so yeah i mean i enjoyed it but i just i don't think it gave me that much you know it's like i need i need more because there's more to explore there with ace because she saw something and hasn't told the doctor what she saw but she like something happened so that's to be continued um the doctor's been offered five thousand pounds which back then would have been hella money so yes we shall see how ace gets herself out of that pickle hopefully the doctor comes and rescues rescues her or she's able to just come up with something like ace does i like that she ended up wearing the suit not the dress she's she she ace as a character feels very forward thinking like i don't know i can imagine people watching this thinking like oh you don't have to wear the dress you can wear the suit i don't know i feel it, it was quite she seems like quite a modern character which is which is really refreshing so yes, I actually just don't have much to say about that part because I just feel like I need to get into it with part two. Let me know your thoughts on it. I have no idea what your opinions are going to be on Ghost Light. And I will see you very soon for part two. <laughs>